This is a brief demonstration to show you how to integrate Metal Shop Pro to work with a financial system in the office of your scrapyard. Um, I'm going to bring you through the brief process of a customer bringing you metal, weighing it, and then the yard guy communicating with the clerk in the office to um, process the order and also to um, make a payment and enter the items into inventory. All right, this is a brief outline I'm going to follow here. Um, I'm going to show you how to sell uh, goods to the mill and then show your business accounts also. Um, we're going to start with uh, Mail Shop Pro is an Android uh, program that will operate on any cell phone. Uh, right here I'm going to display this on a Nexus One emulator. So I'm going to start Metal Shop and a customer pulls into your yard and they have a truck full of metal. Um, we're going to enter a new customer into the system and this is going to be used by a yard worker on a handheld device. Any Android cell phone or a pan digital tablet um, it works with any device, any Android de device. So we're going to enter Fred Winstone is the customer's name. And instead of address here, uh, some scrapyards find it useful to put a uh, driver's license or license plate number that's on the car that they brought the metal with. And save this. You can just hit the backspace to get rid of that keyboard. That's the uh, dynamic keyboard that comes up because there's really no keys on Android phones or tablets. Um, now we have a customer entered in here. Um, now we're going to add some items. He brought us some uh, steel, number one, which is, could be cars or whatever. It's $175 a ton. And we could put this quantity in either as pounds or tons. So I'm going to put it in as uh, tons. They had 1.65 tons. Change that to ton. Get rid of that keyboard again. Hit save. Now you notice the, they have one item on the list. And total is $288.75 that we're going to need to pay that customer so far. Um, they also brought some copper in, so I'm going to put a new item there and choose copper, number one. And they had 50 pounds of copper. So I'm going to save that item. And now you notice they have two items here, steel and copper, number one. The total amount to be paid to that customer is $448.75. Now the transaction with them is complete. Um, they have no more metal to weigh and it's time for them to get paid now. So obviously the guy in the yard doesn't pay them so they need to go to the office to get paid. So being that this is a handheld device and um, the guy in the yard is walking around with it. It's not really attached to a computer or anything. It's on the local area network or it could be on 4G network. Um, but anyways, um, you can send that all those transactions to the office with an email. So I'm going to say yes to send email. Um, this is only unformatted here because of the small screen. It'll be formatted properly when it's received in the office. So you hit send. And it sends that invoice to the office to be paid. Okay, once the yard worker sends the email to the office, um, retrieving it is as easy as calling up whatever email reader you're using. Go into your inbox. We have the one invoice here for Fred Flintstone. And we can pull that up and it shows the items that he sold to the scrapyard. Steel number one, 1.65 tons, and copper number one, uh, 50 pounds. Um, we can then go to Open Bravo, which is the financial system that is integrated to work with Metal Shop Pro. And we can uh, 
search for the customer first and in this system that would be under business partner okay in this instance Fred Flintstone is not in the system so we have to add him as a business partner uh, we're just going to choose create a new record and we just put in Fred Flintstone Um, we could just put the basic information here. I'm going to choose this business partner category. Is he's a metal supplier because we buy metal from him, and then save that. He's a customer because he might buy stuff from us, but also he's a vendor because we buy stuff from him. So we're just going to choose vendor, and then we're going to use our price list, Metal Shop Pro price list. And then save that and the customer is now entered. Uh, one other item that you may want to do is um, some scrapyards require each customer to give a photocopy of their driver's license. If that's the case you can attach that scan right here to this record. And I'm just going to choose any one of these uh, mock driver's license that I have over here this guy from Texas or Nevada and submit and then you notice it has the file right there so at any time you could go back and look at his driver's license or print it out or download it and then you notice it goes right to your downloads okay now that we have Fred Flintstone entered into the system uh, the next step is to pay him and in order to do that we first have to create a purchase invoice and that can be done from the workspace here just type in purchase invoice pop-up and it creates a new one for us um, we can choose the business partner is Fred Flintstone puts his address in um, and now we can choose uh, down here we'll first save that and then we'll choose lines and this is the items that we're going to put from this email that was sent from the yard steel 1.65 tons and copper number one 50 pounds okay so we just choose new on lines and then we choose product steel number one and it's defined as $175 per ton in the system that was predefined and he had 1.65 and in this case we're going to choose exempt no sales tax um, you can maximize this if you want save the line and you notice the line net amount was two hundred and eighty eight dollars and seventy five cents that should match what we had on the mobile unit that the scrapyard guy uses and here next on line is uh, we choose new and we have to put uh, copper number one fifty pounds invoice quantity 50 pounds you notice the unit of measurement here is pound and it's two dollars and ninety five cents a pound Ooh. yep you do have to do this every time enter which tax and then save and now that invoice is complete so we just choose complete complete and we can add a payment in or out so now we're going to pay the customer um, it automatically comes with with the uh, predefined bank account and accounting information but if you notice the amount here is four hundred and thirty six dollars and twenty five cents um, payment out was down here 
and then we're going to process. And now that information goes over to the financial side of uh, Open Bravo. Okay, before we uh, receive those goods into inventory, I want to do a stock report to show you where the stock values are currently at. And actually the best way to get to there is from application, warehouse management, analysis tools, and then stock report. And um, we're just going to view it in HTML format and take everything. Uh, these are currently the items. These are the products that have stock in their warehouses. Um, this is all defined in the system. Uh, and you note, notice steel number one has 3.4 in actually this is in the wrong place but it should be here in the scrapyard um, steel number one in the scrapyard in row four has 1.67 so that's where we're going to put this inventory Okay, I'm going to do a goods receipt. And we got the metal from Fred Flintstone. And we're going to create the lines of this goods receipt from the invoice. So we're going to choose this invoice was the last invoice we made business partner Fred Flintstone and um, we're gonna choose these two items it was a 1.65 ton and 50 pounds we're gonna say where uh, we're gonna put it into so in this case is steel number one is gonna go out to the scrap yard it's going to go in the scrap pile because there's probably a car or something. We'll choose OK on that. And we're going to give it the attribute ferrous metal because it's steel. And then we're going to put this copper in the garage in the back. So I have to do a search for that area. garage back room and we're going to give the, the attribute copper choose OK those two items are now um, ready to go in the system so we complete it and we could back and do a stock report again and you notice that the area for steel number one, on, one went to 3.32 and copper number one went up to 500 okay in order to complete the business cycle I'm going to show you real quick how to uh, create a sales invoice um, that means you would be bringing uh, metal to the mill and selling your goods and you're going to receive payment and then you're going to remove the inventory from the warehouse or from the scrap yard. Uh, you could start that by creating a new sales invoice. and for this instance we're going to choose the business partner is going to be Upstate Metals and we're going to create a new line item for the invoice and the product is going to be steel number one but if you notice oh, that comes the price comes from our price list this is not what we're getting paid for so what we have to do is we have to do a search for that product. We're going to choose Upstate Metals price list and then we're going to choose steel number one. If you notice it has 
net unit price of 300 choose OK and that changes the net unit price now we had nine tons on hand so I'm going to choose nine there and hit OK it's about half a truckload and then I'm going to complete the invoice now um, the metal's already been delivered we've already received payment so I'm just going to add payment in for a total of two thousand seven hundred dollars we could process that and now the payment has gone into our financial system okay now that we have the sales invoice created and we've received payment from Upstate Metals uh, we need to create a goods shipment record so to do that we click new there choose the proper business partner and delivery location okay save that record and then here we're going to create a new line we're going to do a search for the product and the first place that we're going to take steel number one from is this garage back room it has 3.4 tons on hand we're going to remove all 3.4 tons so we hit save on that choose new and the second place we're going to get steel from was bin A it has three tons on hand we completely emptied the bin so we'll move three tons on that and then the third and the final place that we're going to remove steel from is going to be the scrap yard even though it was steel number one coming from the steel two pile uh, could be because it was cars or something like that kept outdoors and we're just going to remove 2.6 tons from this because we set, shipped a total of nine tons to upstate metals. Okay, with that complete, uh, that completes our shipment. So we just hit complete there. And if you notice now, when we do a stock report, um, those items have been removed that are empty, and steel number one still has 0.72 tons of scrap in the pile as number one and that completes that